Hi and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be going to the greenhouse. I need to pick some peppers, which are going to be used in a sauce, as well as I need to pick some of the peppers that I've been isolating throughout the year. Those peppers I need to get the seeds from so that I'm ready for next season. Even though the sun is shining today, it's still a, quite a chilly day and uh, the, the winter is certainly creeping up on us. But there's still a lot to do in the greenhouse. You can still see it is rather green in there still. There's a lot of ripe peppers. So uh, let's get inside there and take a look at what's going on. So obviously I have a bit of a busy road just on the other side of the fence. And uh, it can be a bit noisy, which is a bit of a downside of where we live. But coming into the greenhouse, it really is quite peaceful in here in comparison to just stepping out that door. But let's take a look in the greenhouse and uh, see what's, what's changed since the last time we were in here. You can see we have a few more ripe peppers here, the carboneros, these darker orange ones. And uh, we have the lighter orange ones at the back there. Those are the sugar rush peach, both quite spicy peppers. And we can see I'm trying to isolate some over there. I need to just have a look and see if there are any in there. Uh, we've got some more peppers we're isolating up here, but I don't think there's anything in that bag at the moment. And if we come across to here, we can see the Cardi MOA bonnets. We have a few more on here, so I'm going to pick those today. So the ones I want to really pick today are the seven pot habaneros. Uh, we can see they're lovely and ripe, these red ones over here. And we have a, quite a few on this bush over there and uh, there's another one down here which we also have quite a few on so I'll be picking those I'll also be picking those Naga Brain chocolates we can see that uh, that tree over there we have quite a few these lovely dark colored ones up there that is obviously for a really hot fermented hot sauce that I'm going to be making most of the sauces I made this year there are some some really hot ones not as hot as previous years but I'll be making up for it definitely with this sauce. So these isolated peppers here I can mark off. We can see they're quite large now. Uh, they still need to ripen up. So I'll mark them off and hopefully they will ripen up so we can get some seeds. We've got a few more up here as well. Over here we have a pepper I can pick. It's quite ripe. Uh, I might actually leave it just a little bit longer. Uh, we can see I've marked it with straw. So that's obviously one I've isolated previously. And this is my KN. So I'm going to leave that on there just for a little bit longer because it is ripe, but it's best to uh, just leave it until it starts to dry up a little bit. I mean, you can take it off now, but you know, let nature do its own thing. We've got lots of these cherry bombs coming through. Uh, I think I've said in a previous video, I don't think I'm going to be growing them again next year. Um, I'm not really very excited about them. I think I want to pick these as well. These here are my ricotta reds. We have a few on here. With the ricotta reds, we still have some flowers here. Um, there's some beautiful peppers though. So I'm gonna pick some of these and think about what I wanna do with them. Looks like we have quite a few of the peri peri peppers coming through again. I've been picking them all through the season and uh, we're still getting more ripe ones coming through all the time. So I'll definitely be picking some of those today as well. I've, I've dried a whole lot of them already. So I'm pretty much stocked up for, uh, for my peri peris for next year. But I think I have a couple other sauces I want to make with these. I'm wondering how much longer we have for the season before uh, things start dying off. I don't think we have too much longer. But in the greenhouse, things will, will last just a bit longer than maybe they will outside in the open. This is the reason my wife doesn't come into this greenhouse anymore, uh, especially as the season progresses because these guys make their homes here. I love spiders, so I, I don't really mind them too much, but yeah, she doesn't like them at all. These are great little guys though, because they'll kill all the, the bugs that I don't want in here. So yeah, here's quite a big one though. That's it for this one. Just a very quick video. I'm going to go and pick all these peppers that I've mentioned and we will be getting those into the kitchen and starting some sauces. Talking of sauces, there's a few videos coming up very, very soon. 
I'm going to be finishing off a few today that I'll be able to put up as soon as I finished editing them. So thank you for your patience and I look forward to seeing what you guys think of those videos. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.